This is the second part of the Matter Study Guide. Scientists use physical properties to help sort and classify objects into groups. Uh, examples of physical properties are the state. Is it a solid, a liquid, or a gas? A, the size. Is it really small? Is it really big? Is it bigger than one thing but smaller than another? The color. Is it red? Is it green? Blue? Um, sort of like uh, I like to classify apples. I don't particularly like to eat red apples, but I do very much like to eat green apples. Uh, the shape. What, what shape is it? And the texture. Is it rough? Is it smooth? Uh, that would be the texture. So these are all examples of physical properties that help scientists to sort and classify objects. The physical properties of an object, they stay the same even when they are reduced in size. There are two types of change that can happen to an object. They are physical change and chemical change. In a physical change, the object is still the same matter. So nothing new is made. We're just changing something about that particular object. An example of a physical change would be, or examples of physical change include slicing a pizza, because right there we're changing the, the shape of the pizza. Tearing a piece of paper, we're actually changing the size of the piece of paper. Or melting ice, what we're doing is we're changing the state. We're taking it from a solid to a liquid. In all of these cases, we still have pizza, we still have a piece of paper, and we still have uh, some form of water. Uh, like I just said, in each of these examples, we change the shape, the size, or the state, but we still have the same matter. Now, in a chemical change, some new matter is being formed. Some examples of chemical change include baking brownies, where we take the eggs and the brownie mix and the oil and the water and we mix them all together. And when we put them in the oven, well, instead of taking those things back out, when we take the pan out of the oven, we now have brownies. Uh, burning wood. So when we uh, put wood in the fireplace or, or in the campfire, uh, when it's all said and done, we no longer have wood. We instead, we have a pile of ashes. Or mixing lemonade, um, where we take the sugar and the lemonade powder or the sugar and the, the freshly squeezed lemons and we mix them together. We don't have those things anymore. Instead, we have something brand new. We have lemonade. In each of these examples, the physical properties of those items that we're causing the change to, they've changed drastically. Something brand new was made. In the case of the brownies, we don't have eggs in the brownie mix and the oil in the water anymore. We have delicious brownies. Unless, of course, they got burnt, in which case, eh, maybe not so delicious. Uh, but if you think about the, um, the lemonade, the physical properties of the sugar and the lemonade powder, and even the water have changed. They're no longer what they were. They've become something brand new. Okay, this has been the second part of your study guide. This one was over physical and chemical uh, changes. And this has been a Mr. Pearson Teaches Third Grade production.